Work sets you free. My goodness. What a lie that turned out to be for the thousands and thousands of people who passed away here. Electrified fences. Bastards. So many different ways that people passed away here. So many different aspects to killing that these people just had down to a T. And they had dehumanized the Jews so badly that they did not even bat an eye about murder. We call this the Holocaust nowadays, but I believe Hitler and the Nazis called it the final solution. Back when this place first started, how does one even go about masterminding these things? The Germans are very smart and clever people. But now we have streets lined with these old buildings, old buildings that actually look rather innocent upon initial glance. Now many of them hold exhibits and reminders of what did happen here, such as photos, leaked letters from people that tried to get the word out. By the sounds of things, they really did try to escape in many occasions. This right here would be a shelter post for the guard on duty who was taking lineup. All throughout these streets, there would have been Jewish or prisoners who actually had to stand for roll call and get numbers taken, no matter what kind of weather it was. And oftentimes that could take up to 12 hours of them standing in terrible weather while the guards had shelter in that small little booth. I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible and show you one particular spot that is very important to Auschwitz one as far as body count and death toll. But in this section there are a couple of buildings such as I believe number 21 and perhaps number 18 I believe it may have been that was known as the crematorium waiting buildings because that is where the sick went and if they were unable to get back to work then they would in fact meet their deaths either by firing squad or in the crematoriums I believe this sign commemorates that Yes, yeah, so it would have been around in these buildings that the sickly people were experimented on with drugs or pharmaceuticals or even certain types of surgeries that caused permanent injuries. Any dastardly deed that you can think, these people were definitely taking charge of that. Which is weird how they treated them as less than human, even though they studied their anatomy as human, to gain further knowledge of human anatomy. Insane. Pure insanity. Even in the early hours of this semi-gloomy day where sunlight pops out every now and again, there are many people who have come to commemorate this spot and see it for themselves. Now I introduce you to the 11 block. Between 10 on the left and 11 on the right, there is the black wall where many prisoners were lined up and executed by firing squad. Others had their wrists tied behind their back and then were hung from a post. And it was in this building, number 11, 
were the first experiments that were later used for mass execution of gassings actually took place. It was down in the basement. Over here in block 10, it would have been a hospital of sorts where other experiments took place. We're not going to speak as we come in to show our respects, but I do want to give you a glimpse of the black wall where a firing squad executed thousands and thousands of prisoners. And it was in this basement that the first gassings were experimented on. Sad indeed. Firing squad. Between blocks 10 and 11. And once again, it was down in these basement cells, which cell phones are not allowed, but I will include pictures on Facebook, because history is important and commemorative. There is respects for the dead that are to be taken, but there's also history for those of us living. The inside of block 11, one of the most notorious blocks in Auschwitz 1. To keep it short, this has been your tour of Auschwitz 1 as far as video goes. And next we move on to where the real death took place. Over 1 million people killed in Auschwitz-Birkenau 2 will be on our way there shortly. Thank you for tuning in. As always, Jay Bradstreet broadcasting from Auschwitz, Poland.